I think the best example of why our veterans are so different, so special, and the reason that Americans love them so much, because you have to remember that in America, our military is the instrument of our liberation, not our oppression. Let's be honest, in most countries, and even in countries where that may no longer be the case now, for the vast majority of their history, the military was a force not only to be a threat to their nation's enemies, but also to the people in their nation as well. That's something that's never been true in America. Because let's look at, you know, England, for example. It's true that England's armies exist to act as a threat and a deterrent from people doing things that would harm the national interest of England. That is true. But for the vast majority of its history, they were also there to curtail and act as a kind of shackle on the people from harm harming the monarch. That's something that's never been true in America. Because our soldiers take an oath to uphold not a person, not a monarchy or a crown, but our constitution. A constitution that was made by the people and for the people. That's the difference. There was an amazing story of a young man, well, he's not young anymore, obviously, but he was a young man when this happened to him, a guy named Dieter, and he is a German natural-born German citizen. He's an American now. But back then, he was a young boy. I think he was about six or seven at the time that World War II was going on. And the contrast that he brought up here was so powerful because it, it so illustrates why our veterans are different from everybody else. He said that when they got word that the Americans are coming, they started celebrating. Now you think about it. He's a German citizen in World War II. Why would they be celebrating the Americans coming? That doesn't make any sense. Except it does. You see, he and his mother and grandmother were just as oppressed by the Nazis as the people that were not German, as the people in the nations that they had invaded. They were scrounging for food, not having enough to eat, literally digging through garbage every day to try to find enough to keep himself alive. And they were only given a ration of bread every single day to survive, and he said there were an awful lot of days where my mom or grandma just went without so that they could give more to me. And he said that when he and all his friends heard the Americans were coming, they started celebrating. Because they were afraid the Russians were going to come. They were afraid that the Russians were going to invade them from the other side. And when that happened, oh, they didn't want that to happen. Because Russia was Germans in, uh, Germany's enemy then. That it was after they had switched sides. He said when the Russian soldiers came in, they stole things. They raped women, they took food, they took supplies. When they walked out of the German towns that they had invaded, they were actually a lot worse off than they were even before. And that's saying something because of how badly they were treated under Nazism. But when he heard the Americans were coming, they were going to bring supplies, relief, aid, they were going to heal some people that had been wounded or, or people that were sick. He said the first American that he met gave him a chocolate bar, which he ate and immediately threw up because of how hungry he was. His stomach just rejected it because it was so rich. See, that's the difference in America's military and everybody else's. Even foreign nationals, people that are not American citizens, that are oppressed and having their liberties taken away from them, they cheer when they hear the Americans are coming. Hey, y'all know I'm a stats and numbers guy, so here's some fun facts for you. People that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel are 200% more satisfied with their online video content and 400% more likely to be able to speak intelligently about politics and religion with somebody they know. 
Also, four out of five people that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel live healthier, more fulfilling lives. And that fifth guy was just a social justice warrior with a stick up his butt. Also, 82% of the statistics on the internet totally made up.